You have to stop. All right, gun guys, everybody out here shooting like this, it's not doing anything for you. I want to teach you guys the torque grip, where I learned it, and the why behind it. So, I learned it from Orion Training Group in mid-21, and I took a performance handgun class from them. It was awesome. Will was the main instructor on it. Right off the bat, I was doing this thing thinking I was gonna shoot at a high level. And he stood next to me and he said, we're gonna change that. I said, what are you talking about? You know, I've been shooting a long time. I've won lots of different competitions and stuff. Um, always thought that I was kind of in the upper middle of the pack. And this got me to the next level. So he stood next to me and he said, we're gonna change that. And he told me to torque it back and stick my left thumb up. And it took me a little while to get the hang up, but what it does when you start torquing the gun back, it allows you to really get some tension on the bottom of the grip. So the lowest fulcrum we're able to lock in on now. A couple ways I like to vet this, and this was taught to me too by Will, is grab your fingers on your firing side, push the thumb forward, and pull them out. Let's try that again. Grip as tight as I can, and they pull right out. Now I'm gonna do it neutral. You can't. You gain a ton of strength from going here to here. So we're on the gun, torquing back. I'm staying neutral. A dead giveaway here, if you got it right, is that your supporting arm is below your firing arm. This is really gonna keep you from shooting the gun, it's flopping around under recoil, coming back here and readjusting. I remember that would happen to me a lot. I'd be shooting this old school grip, bang, 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 the gun would slip around, I'd come back here, retighten it down and crush it back out. It didn't do anything having that thumb all the way up there. It didn't do anything having my palm way up here on the grip, like it is when your thumb is very aggressive. So we pull it back, we lock it in, and it works so much better. Another tip, make some marks right in front of the knuckles on your firing side of the pinky and the ring finger. And then let's try to wear those marks out. That's good contact good strength, good activation. When you're driving your car, grip the steering wheel as tight as you can with your supporting side. Start shooting with your right side. The right side can be loose if we torque correctly. We're locking it in. Let's go. Double hand shake. Shake your friend's right hand. Shake your friend's left hand. Tight left, send them on the right. Okay? It's gonna help you. Next thing, upper body position, stop putting your head down and your eyes up. Do it right now while you're watching the video. Just drop your head down, keep your eyes up. It's strenuous, you're starting to lose vision. Keep your head neutral. Keep your shoulders kind of neutral. I shrug when I want to grab the gun and then my shoulders drop back down. Okay. It's really it. It's gonna help you. You're gonna get faster splits. You're gonna hang on to the gun better. Torque it back, lock it in, stay loose. 
Sendung. <lacht>